Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to explore stable coins and altcoins. In this video, we're going to break down what these are, why they're different, and how they're used in the crypto world. You'll want to stick with us until the end of this one for exclusive insights to improve your knowledge. Before we begin, remember that everything we share with you is for informational and educational purposes only. Nothing here is financial advice, and nor do we give any. If in doubt, do your own research always. Now, let's get into it, shall we? Stable coins. The first stop in our journey is at the world of stable coins. At a simple level, stable coins do exactly what they say in the title provide a coin at a stable price. Some describe stable coins as a form of altcoin but that's not exactly right. Stable coins were created to provide a form of stability in the incredibly volatile crypto market. They keep a constant value regardless of what happens in the market. So whether we sit in a bear or bull market, stable coins will provide you with the same value. Popular stable coins like USDT and USDC are tethered to the US dollar. So this means that $1 USD equals 1 USDT slash USDC no matter how the market moves, ensuring stability. Traders often use stablecoins to secure their gains and make the most of their local currency. Over 200 stablecoins exist today, so you have plenty to choose from, and each brings unique sets of fundamentals to fit your needs. Now, if we get a little nerdier on this, we can break down stablecoins into the three most popular categories. Number one, stablecoins backed by commodities. These are coins that are secured against commodities and generally have the backing of hard assets for stability. These hard assets can include real estate or gold. However, the most commonly used hard asset is gold. Number two, stable coins backed by crypto assets. This category is often the least favored by those in the crypto space. The reason it's least favored is because this category of stablecoin is secured with a volatile asset, which defeats the point of a stablecoin. We can't argue with that one. However, there are plenty that do exist and can be used within a portfolio. A commonly known stablecoin in this space is DAI. This coin is backed by the Ethereum cryptocurrency and as such is open to volatility. Number three, stablecoins backed by fiat currency. Last but certainly not least is the most popular category for stablecoins, those backed by fiat currency aka the currency of your local nation. These are the most common stablecoins you'll find circulating on all big exchanges today. These stablecoins have the backing of the world's fiat currencies like the US dollar, the Great British Pound, the Euro, and the Chinese Yuan, to name a few. It's key to note that stablecoins backed by fiat currencies are exposed to events like inflation. In the example of inflation, as a reserve currency loses value, so will the stablecoin that it backs. This is one of the cases against fiat-backed stablecoins. They're the simplest kind of stablecoins to understand, but some say they limit the true potential of cryptocurrencies since they essentially act only as proxies for fiat currencies. Pros and Cons of Stablecoins we can't finish off our stablecoins discussion without talking about both the pros and cons. We already know stablecoins provide stability in a volatile market, but they also don't allow you to capitalize on booming market movements as their value never changes, no matter how good or bad the market is looking. Yet, they do provide a bunch of advantages in extremely volatile space. Stablecoins provide not only stability, but the improved speed of basic financial processes and charge much lower transaction fees. Yes, we're looking at you, ETH gas fees. Of course, as we've covered, the main disadvantage here is the potential for less return on your investment. But if you're comfortable with that, then stablecoins might be for you. Altcoins. All right, let's continue and talk about altcoins. If you've been in crypto for any space of time, you may have heard of the often worshipped altcoin season where investors hope to make big gains. But you're probably still asking yourself, what the heck is an altcoin? So we're gonna explore what an altcoin is and what they do. First, any coin other than Bitcoin, which is considered the godfather of the crypto space, is called an altcoin. So if you're not the top dog, then you're an alternative or in other words, an altcoin. There are a ton of altcoins in the crypto space, so it can be hard to determine what's hot and what's a dud. This is because anybody can create an altcoin. Yes, anybody, me, you, and that weird neighbor down the road can all do it. 
popular altcoins that have developed market popularity over the years includes Dogecoin, Solana, Litecoin, Ethereum, Shiba Inu, Cardano, and many, many more. But why use altcoins instead of Bitcoin? A number of reasons, actually. Bitcoin is limited in functionality when it comes to the use of DeFi, aka decentralized finance applications. Altcoins create better interactions with products like NFTs, ensure slower processing times, lower transaction fees, and the ability to use smart contracts. This is what makes many altcoins popular because they provide what Bitcoin cannot. As an example, popular altcoins include Ethereum and Solana have risen to the top of the altcoin race in recent years because of their ability to utilize smart contracts, allowing consumers to buy cool stuff like NFTs and participate in decentralized finance applications. However, unlike stablecoins, altcoins are at the mercy of market volatility, just like Bitcoin. They can provide massive returns or make you into a penniless fool. A constant game of Russian roulette, some might say. We've seen popular examples of this in the last few years, like the Dogecoin millionaires, created during the early 2021 market boom. The smart ones cashed in their gains and rode off into the sunset, but lots more didn't act and went from six or seven figures in profits back to almost nothing. Now that's painful. But the good news is that we can learn from other people's failures. And with your newfound knowledge, you'll be able to wield the power of altcoins in a responsible way. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. If this content helped you, show us some love by liking the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this to build your crypto knowledge. Now that you've learned about stable and altcoins, it's time to let us know which is your favorite. Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Until next time, friends.